Hello, my friends. Are you ready to look at a machine that has a zero competition and there's no other machine on the planet just like it? Take a look right. Stop staring at Rob. I know he's going to be here in just a minute. Take a look at the machine. Rob, I'm excited to learn a little bit more because this machine is reminiscent of something that is near and dear to my heart. So if you talk about it, I just might jump, it down, jump up and down on camera. But I want to learn about this machine because it is so unique to the industry and nobody else is doing this. Yeah, this is a, it's a very simplex machine. It's, it's a two axis. It's a kind of a, we call it a pendant where we have a, a gang style tool here. Um, it'll hold four tools up, up on top. You got one on the bottom and it's, it's designed for high, high runs. Uh, millions of parts, simplistic operations, spot drill tap, face turn, thread. Um, see a lot of this stuff in the faster industry. Um, aerospace, uh, firearms to an extent. Um, but anything where you got something small, fits into a 5C collet, simplistic, four or five tools, set it up. And it's, um, this thing will run, lights out, 24 seven. The parts, the areas of this machine that I think I know are the bowl in the back that you just throw parts into, and I don't mean that aggressively, but you can just drop parts in and it's gonna sort it all for you. And I see how fast it's moving right now. So in my world, when I try to piece this together, I think about that one operation or that two operations that just are complicated to do inside when I've done 30 other operations inside the machine. And it's just that one drill hole, that one yeah. chant, whatever it might be, to repeat over and over. And that's why it's so successful in the worlds of aerospace and some of these other folks who are just doing so many parts out there. Yeah, you could take a, a headed part and do a simplistic operation too, where it would be difficult if you took this part and you hand loaded, say, an Omni turn. Uh, you know what I mean? You, you did it. Mean? You went there. <laughs> I did it. I did it. So, uh, but yes, bowl feed. Mass dumping the parts, it'll sort it out, kind of where the black magic happens in the back. We take care of the black magic, but it'll feed the parts through and you get finished component on the other side. I'm a big fan of voodoo. Big fan of voodoo and black magic. It's part of this business, Tony, you know that. You Absolutely. Know that. So when you said Omni Turn for everyone who's watching, that's that was my original machine. Remember Rob. those things? I was using a floppy drive programming line by line. I tell you what, it wasn't nearly as efficient as this. Yeah, yeah. But you were pointing at the control. What did you want to bring up? So simple control. It's a FANUC control. We can all relate to FANUC control. So the same control on this machine as it is on the rest of our lineup. So simple to use. Yeah. Easy, easy summary for this one for everyone who's watching right now. If you're making a lot of parts and you got maybe that one drill, that one that one component, let's just say. Secondary op. There you go. See, that's why we bring on the smart guys. We bring on Rob, he's a smart guy, uh, to allow me to do better on camera as well. But if you're out there and you have that one frustrating secondary op and you're making lots and lots of, uh, there's no other option. I mean, this is your choice. This is who you go to. Give Rob a call. Yep. I'll give you uh, his social security number in just a minute. Uh, <laughs> We're, we're not obviously going to do that, Rob. No. Thank you so hey, much for your thanks, time. Tony, thank you for sharing it. this. I know everyone was staring at you and not the machine, but hopefully they learned a bit of something today as well. Appreciate it. Take care.